What's pop? Hey, what's poppin' y'all? It's the Nigerian Prophet, or Tito. Yeah, I said my name. I thought, you know, I thought it was kinda nice, cause like, you know, I'm Nigerian. You know, I like to teach people things. And uh, today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get 360. You know what I'm saying? A little 360 way, way beyond on. As a coarse hair wave. Okay, look, this is what I don't really like. When people like say they're coarse hair wavers, like you're not like a coarse, I'm like a coarse hair waver. You're like, I'm like, look, like this, we break picks type thing. We break combs, like this is what we do. Like our hair is like stone like type stuff. Like whenever you brush, you bring that sandpaper sound, you And like, we break bristles, like we do all that. Like if you're like me, like you're like a Nigerian, like so I'm Nigerian, right? But like, my hair is like nappy. Like if I do not comb it like in one day, that day will be like it look like it start looking like baked beans. You feel me? But there is a way. There is a way you can get 360 ways if you're like Nigerian or like you know if you just have really coarse hair. Like we're, we don't fit under the coarse hair category. We're like here's coarser. We're like right here because like our hair is like way different. Here. So today I thought I'd teach you how to get like you know 360 waves as a coarse hair or Nigerian or a like a dry hair wave or whatever you want to call it and I'm gonna just teach you like the way of life like I got a few things over here that I use like <clears throat> first you got to understand that it's not going to come quickly nothing in life comes quickly and like it's going to take a while you're going to be crying because you're going to get roasted by your, like all your friends, like they're gonna be like, you have naps, you don't have waves. You'll be trying to say I'm spinning, stuff like that. You will try to show them your waves, but they're not there. Like it's gonna take a long time. And like, the thing is with me, like I started, like I just kind of gave up. Like I started for like maybe a month, I gave up. And then I grew my hair out for like two months, right? I didn't brush. Maybe I brushed on like occasion, cause like, when, when you start waving, like, you just kind of don't want to stop. <clears throat> so, like, I brush, like, a few times every, like, three, four days. And, like, maybe wore my do-rag, like, a bit. Like, I never wore my do-rag. Like, I just brush. Anyways, so I get the chop. So I go get a little chop. I'm like, I'm going to start waving again. Because, you know, it's, like, winter time in Texas. Well, actually, in Texas, like, it's weird. Like, it can be winter, but it can be summer at the same time. And in the summer, it can be winter. So it's, like, real weird. Like, because you know how people don't wave. They usually start wolfing, like, in the winter. But, like, if you... Okay, wait, hold on. If you came to this video and you don't know any wave tips, like, any wave like any wave lingo, you know what I'm saying? Like... I mean, I was I would say go on Urban Dictionary, but like the Nigerian prophet got you. All right, so look, so a wolf is when you basically grow your hair out to like get the waves to the very bottom. Like, you know how when you first start, you'll start with ripples. Let me show you how I was when I first started. So this is a picture of me when I first started. Like it, <laughs> I thought I was spinning, bro. Look. I, if I, look, if I saw myself, I would start roasting myself. I was like, what are you doing? But like, yeah, but now I got a little something going on. Like, I didn't even show y'all the full, like, three, six. This is what I'm working with right now. So, as you can see, I got the front, right? The sides. I need to work on, like, my sides a little bit. And then I got that side, right? And then, show y'all the back real quick. The back. Needs a little bit of work. They, I mean, but yeah, I'm not doing too bad. I look, he just ran for about like five minutes. Well, anyways, back to my story. So I started like, we wanted to be waving. Like I wanted to be, I wanted to get back on the wave ground like a week ago, something like that. And then when I cut my hair, I was like, what the hell? Like I have waves. Like I was like, hold on, hold on, I have waves. So I just started brushing it, and it just became like 360. Like before, if you understand the struggle, like either if you know, like if you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like the Nigerian wave is like when you like start brushing the top, like that's all you can get to wave up. Like the sides will not wave up, the back will not wave up. So basically, we end up just cutting our like sides off and the back off. So like this time it just came on like all sides of my head and i was like i mean i i'm not gonna complain 
So I just started like brushing all the sides and the top. That's the first tip, brushing. So I got a few here. I got like, okay, this is a medium brush. The medium I'd say is a good all around brush. A little uh, red brush. And here I got a little like a medium hard brush. I like this one uh, for like day to day use cause you could just like glide on the hair. And then I have this one that's like a double sided one. It's like, this one is like really hard on this side and then soft on this side. Basically what you need to know is the difference between like deepening your waves and getting connections. So like, as you can see, like on my waves, like say I have like a bit of connections up here and they work on my connections. So basically what connections are, are like the line, the actual like lines of the waves. Like you need, like when you first start yoga ripples cause your hair is not connected to the other parts of the hair and like, Use keep using the soft brush to get connections because the soft brush will actually work on the top of the hair, right? Contrary to the hard brush that will actually work on like the, the deepening of it, it will get all the way to your scalp and actually get your scalp wavy, right? And like the thing is with the soft brush, it won't really get deep into the waves, so that's why when we get to shower brushing, I'll talk to you about like the hard brush. So like the soft brush will get the connections right, right? So first you need to start with the soft brush, right? That's what you need. Or a medium brush if you prefer that. Like it'll help you get progress faster, right? You know what I'm saying? And then once you start getting, you know, a little something, something going on, then you start using the medium or hard brush, whichever one you choose. If you do use a hard brush when you, uh, um, if you use a hard brush when you first get a cut, you're kind of retarded. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you're gonna mess up your scalp. Your scalp is gonna be like crying. It'll start doing something weird. You know how like it be, right? So when I get a cut, I probably use this bad boy. It's like, it's like medium soft. So it won't completely like, you know, destroy my scalp, but you know, I'll be straight for the way. So if you go around YouTube, you'll see like you need all these products. You need this, you need that. You need curl enhancers, but then you need this, you need that. You, you, I mean, you need it, right? Like, you'll need it, like, to deepen your way, like, to make you look like dad, like, make you look like that dude. Other than that, you need to brush. That's what you need to do. Like, I'm not saying go brush for, like, five hours. I'm just saying, like, put the work in, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you're not committed to it, you're not gonna get waves. It's just pretty much how it goes. And, like, look, like, basically, you just wanna brush and then brush down. But you want to brush past the hairline, right? Because you don't want to recede your hairline. Because if you go like this and then flick, right? It's going to start messing up the way in the front. And it's going to start messing up your hairline. So like, you want to brush all the way down, all the way through, all the way through, all the way through. You want to just go all the way through. So it just gets like everything, right? And then if you got a few spots, like if you want to work on the sides, you can do like a little of that. You can do that, right? A little something like that. And then if you want to work on connections, go through with the soft brush and just like start, start doing the same thing. And it'll just start working on your connections. Right. I gotta make sure I get this video over 10 minutes cause I need that paper, you feel me? <laughs> now I'm just playing, y'all. I don't even have over 1K subscribe. No, same, subscribe. What are you doing? If you watch this much into the video, you better subscribe. <laughs> Another tip to get waves is to shower brush. So when you're in the shower, get your um, shampoo and conditioner, right? Start taking that shampoo, right? Start putting your hair. But before that, <laughs> I got you. Before that, you need one of these. You need a comb. Look, so basically what the comb does is like lifts your hair off of like your scalp because if you know waves are like laid down curls it lifts your hair off of your scalp so that it, you can get to the bottom of the scalp and like have, avoid dandruff all that like all the gunk in your hair like if you hoop or like playing the sports you get all the sweat in your hair like it messes all up anyway get senior comb start doing all that right and then it'll basically lift it off your scalp and Basically, you can start like, just like, put on the conditioner shampoo, right? Just like, do that, do that. Then you wanna start like, combing it, like as you have the conditioner in there, and the shampoo in there, 
Like, if you want to put them separately, you can. Like, I do that sometimes, but I like to put both at the same time. Right? And as you do that, you want to get your either medium or, like, get your, uh, if you want to do a hard brush, yeah, it'll get to the end of the scalp. If your scalp can take it, then you start, like, brushing while it's in there, while there's shampoo conditioners in there, right? While you brush, just brush for a little bit, have a little brush session. And then you want to wash it out. And then as you're washing out, you still want to be brushing. Brush with downward strokes, you know. And then after that, let's talk about the do-rag. So like here I have my first do-rag that I use. I just love this do-rag. Like, it's so basic and like, I just like, like to use it for everything. So basically with the do-rag, right? Like everybody, I hope you know what a do-rag is. <laughs> no, I'm just if you don't know what a do-rag is, basically it's just the key to lay down your hair. Like if you had like, say if you're working on like a word document or something and like you forgot to save it and you lost all your work that's basically what you do if you don't wear a do-rag like you're gonna like remember some of it so like you can get ways without a do-rag but like it's gonna be way harder and you're just gonna look goofy so like <sighs> so like, you take your do-rag you know what i'm saying you put it on right tie it up and then i usually use like a wave cap for like extra compression right like you just put it over the do-rag, right? And then after you wash your hair, you put on the do-rag, put on the wave cap. I'd say wait like 30 minutes, right? Unrag, start brushing again. Like just start brushing. But now you run into a problem, you're Nigerian. <laughs> you forgot that if you put water in your hair for like an hour and let it sit, if you wake up the next day, you, you will be itching. You gonna be like, God <laughs> Like, you're gonna be itching out that much. Like, you're gonna be itching, itching. But anyway, so what you need is some moisture. You can use like, any like thing you find at Walmart that's like hair moisturizer. You know, and just like, you can comb it out and just lay that bad boy in there. Start brushing again, start brushing, start brushing, start brushing, rag up. And, and you can wait like another 30 minutes, right? Let, the, let it soak in there, right? And then what you need to do is like unrag again and then just have your actual brush session. Like just keep brushing. I'd say like, you know, 15 to 30 minutes. Like it's a good brush session. And then you want to rag again. And then that's when you go to sleep. Like I'd say when you have a cut, never fall asleep without your do-rag. If you fall asleep without your do-rag, it's going to like mess up your waves. But like, I mean, it's not, it's not gonna be the end of the world, but like, if you're trying to, you know, pull anybody, it's the end of the world. And then, let's see, when you're wolfing, which is basically just like combing, brushing back down, combing, brushing back down every day, just to like get the very, very bottom of your scalp in the, in the wave process. And like, it basically just deepens your waves. So when you get a cut, so if you had, say you have a four week wolf, like wolves are supposed to go for a long time. Like say if you have a four week wolf or like one month wolf, then you just like cut your hair and then the waves at the bottom will still be there because you waved for the whole time. Like you are loyal to the wave process, you feel? Anyways, so I'm gonna just go to basically how to make your waves look nice. So another way to make your waves look nice and shiny is pomade. So this gives your hair or wave grease. It gives your hair. Like, it gives your hair some uh just some shine. You know what I'm saying? Put it in there. And like I already have some. I already put some in yesterday. Anyways, you put it in there. You just like kinda start from your crown. Like put it put some in your crown. Just start brushing from the side. Go that way, go that way, go that way. Yeah. Then start doing that. After you do that, <clears throat> should give you some shine. You just rag up and you can wash it out like in a few days, like whenever you want to wash it out. Another method, my last tip for you to make your waves look nice is the plastic bag, right? So this plastic bag is just like, I think I got it from Walmart or something. Basically, you need one of these, put your hand in there and start doing that. So you're asking like, what is what does that do? <laughs> so basically, it just like lays down your wild hairs. So like, you know when you have waves, like, you're gonna have wild hairs, especially Nigerians, like, psh, come on now. 
or, or all Africans, like, we just have a lot, like, wild hairs, and, like, basically, it's gonna be sticking up, right, and then put that plastic bag on that mug, and then it, it'll add shine to your waves, and lays down the wild hairs, so I'm still on my wave journey, no, nobody's perfect, so, uh, I'm just working day to day like you, hopefully. Yeah, that's basically all the wave tips I have. If you want to send me like your wave process, or, like you want to send me any like any type of hairstyle you have, go ahead and like hit me up on uh, Instagram. DM me at Tito L U D, and I want to see like your wave process, or if you want to ask me any questions type thing. And uh, if you think my waves suck, you know, just like this video. Just, uh, or you think I did something wrong, let me know in the comments down below. But if you really uh, did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my videos, subscribe, because <laughs> I haven't made a video in a minute. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe, because, you know, that's a real person thing to do. Like, I message you if you subscribe. Like, we're almost at 700 subscribers. Like, next goal is 1,000. We can make it to 1,000, I agree. So, uh... Let's just, let's get to it. But anyways, I'll catch you later.